All right. So good afternoon. t h a s long yeah. days, right? Uh, yeah. It's almost there. Yeah, almost there. Uh, they, actually, this is final two live cases from the Asam Medical Center. Maybe Alan Young is uh, uh, preparing the another cases as we are doing <coughs> another main cases here. So, all right, Dr. Kang Do Yoon, Dr. Park, uh, our uh, junior colleagues. And so, would you introduce case first? Uh, yes. The patient is 74-year-old female, admitted for exertional dyspnea. She has a history of hypertension and hyperlipidemia. She received PCI at proximal to mid RCA CTO and proximal to mid LAD one year ago. And mm -hmm. she, she received uh, RCA stenting with syner two synergy stent and LAD with mm -hmm. two synergy stenting. And her thallium spec revealed large perfusion defect at circumflex territory, and mm -hmm. we checked coronary angio, and we could see the severe stenosis at proximal <coughs> circumflex. Right. Uh, the pa after, after the stent procedure the last year, the patients mm -hmm. really uh, feel the stable, you yeah. know, angina has yes. a very uh, minimal effort to yes. explain it continuously. And we, uh, you know, do, uh, took a silent p u p t o n scan first, and then we're going to plan so how to treat this one. And so would you show right coronary artery, actually long stand, two overlapping, however, almost perfect. Yes. And so we're going to move to the left coronary angel. Actually, you've seen, uh, you still, uh, just the uh, osteal part of the circumflex is compromised. Would you show the previous RAO? Yes. RAO view? <coughs> All right, great. And so if you look at that one, Uh, circumflex ostium is uh, really critically o o compromised, and circumflex distal proper is tapered out, almost uh, total occluded, a uh, timid two floor, something in OM branches, as uh, some disease over there. So, all right, here and next, the spider view. Okay, that's, uh, that's the you know, coronary angiogram status. And so if you look at in, you know, inside in detail, actually the proximal stand is, uh, is just a crossover, yes. circumflex ostium. However, main, uh, from the main distal to main ostium is, doesn't cover anything. So yes. there are some minimal disease. And last year's films actually is getting more, you know, compared to the last year's one, uh, getting more tighter stenosis yes. circumflex ostium, right? So. All right, so to... So, SJ, could we ask you what the... Uh, I missed what the condition of the ostium, of the uh, circumflex was last year. Was it... Uh, how much... All right, it's mild compromise. Uh, however, it is quite you know, open up. It's big enough. Uh, so, well, we didn't do that, uh, didn't do any more procedures. And so, uh, immediately after, anyway, Uh, the stem procedure is a patient uh, feels chest pain, the minimal effort yes. to chest pain, and they complain. Uh, so I just wait, wait, uh, just one year, yes. <laughs> and do a silent p u p t i o n scan and uh, coronary angiogram too. All right, to uh, shorten the uh, lab transmission, we did uh, arms uh, yes. imaging uh, from the LED and circumflex, and then we're going to discuss this more in detail, right? Okay, I'll just show. Wire pass. Okay. So the, I think it's one proximal stand strut would be, yeah. you know, pass the, yeah. uh, uh, right, through the wire, uh, through the stand strut, the wire pass, and then we're going to do i v o s in the t i s t a l and proximal. Okay, yes. would you show that? It is circumflex i v o s Can you mm -hmm. show? Run. Uh, let's see. This is a t i s This is a complex, is it? Okay, yeah. did, did you see that? Yeah, yes. very nice. This is a complex. We see it. This is a distal c o m p l e x to OM branch, mm -hmm. and very tight region, you can see. Pretty much. Yes, mm -hmm. and the v e s e l size was uh, 3.0, and distal tight region was 4 car, this grid. Mm -hmm. And there's uh, some normal region, and can you pass the proximal c o m p l e x Yes. Proximal region? Yes. Here is a proximal circumflex. There are some you know, normal looking areas yes. between the two regions. And this is circumflex. Very big, uh, rather than we expected, 3-5 something, right? This is a, all right. l a d coming in at 7 o'clock. All right. Wow. All right, before, would you show? 
Should we just show our game? All right. Here we are. Charge to OCR part. Here we are. All right. Stop it. That. So it's, you know, uh, 7 o'clock, the LED wire is yes. coming in. And so that is just the OCR part of circumflex. Yes. Size-wise, almost, uh, uh, you know, media to media 4 or something, right? Yes. More than 3, 5. And yes. Large of a plaque uh, in the circumflex source team, right? So, and uh, in terms of distal OM branches, disease, uh, would you show the final? We just fix up that uh, short uh, uh, stand. I'd like to focus with, uh, you know, uh, circumflex hostel part. We did the two, five, sixteen, and on the expansions we overcome. Go ahead. Yes. And high pressure inflation, two five something, and relieve uh, all the uh, in the, uh, right. Then, okay. Final. So we just fix up the uh, distal part of OM disease, and do we did a uh, three five yes. uh, don't complain volume for the proximal part at at TV. Uh, from the beginning, we are planning so after the balloon inflation, uh, depending on our balloon result, yeah. and we have two options. Uh, you know, you know, stand like result with the balloon angioplasty, we did, uh, we consider mm -hmm. a kind of a drug eluting balloon for that. Yeah. Uh, uh, it doesn't work. There are some uh, problems. Uh, we want to do the kind of cooler technique. Yes. That is our mm -hmm. uh, primary plan. So I want to just show that it's. Uh, I want to make a you know good angioplasty result, and including the mid portion of uh, some indentation is not yeah. relieved, maybe related with uh, <coughs> some stent uh, strut, yeah. strut uh, proximal stent strut. Yes. So I tried you know a little bit high pressure. So what pressure? Twenty-eight, thirty, or more. All right. So yeah. I want to I want to break down the stent proximal yes. uh, stent strut with a high pressure. Balloon inflation, however, all right, doesn't work too much. Mm -hmm. We still yes, there are some indentation over yeah. there. The balloon right, size is then, three point five, right? Yes. Yeah, okay. three five. Okay. And the final, would you show the final balloon? Okay, that. Uh, actually, <laughs> all right. Uh, up to this point, the, for the uh, distal part uh, of a stenting procedures, yeah. it's uh, you know can it's some difficulty to pass the yeah. stent and. Uh, cannot visualize the T-cell part, and we did a little bit bigger balloon inflation with those teams. And so we have no other options, you know, 3-5, uh, high pressure inflation. <clears throat> and then <clears throat> the balloon angel plus result like this. All right, that's where we are. So, so as you, uh, this is very interesting because you have done the technique which is called the string technique. So you, uh -huh. you take one strut. Yeah, yeah. And then you open the strut, so this is a, str a, a string technique. String but technique. I would like to come back to the, the first procedure because uh, this is, for me, a typical case of bifurcation refusal. So you, somebody has done it, trying to avoid the bifurcation. And then you have a classical effect at one or two years, which is the fact that you have areas of low shear stress that promote neo Neonatal proliferation, and then you have this lesion at the uh, origin of the cirque, and sometimes you may have the same problem at the distal left main. So, uh, so I don't know what will you do n as uh, next uh, step, but you have already a good result. But I'm not sure that it will stay as it is at one or two years follow-up. So, what what is your suggestion? So. <laughs> would you, would you, would you check with uh, IVIS now uh, to see uh, well, how this uh, Okay, it's a little bit more. At this point, could you not convert this into okay, sort of a delayed collot procedure? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I agree. Is it, you, you, what is your technique? Sujabo technique or is it you mentioned? It's, so, a, it's a culotte technique, so you... you uh, culotte technique. You, uh, uh, it's a, not culotte. It's a string uh, technique. String technique. So you try to go through this, but uh, I've never done it, but it was described by uh, uh, William Wins uh, many years ago, and there is also a reverse culotte technique, which, uh, mm -hmm. string technique, sorry. How mm -hmm. But in my opinion, uh, what I will do in this case, but uh, I don't know, of course, uh, which uh, stenting the left man toward the cirque and do a final kissing by inflation. Oh, 
However, the previous stent is a uh, synergy stent, so the most proximal cell. So it has a limitation of the stent expansion. So oh, Dr. Bach suffered from the uh, limitation of the strut expansion. Uh, so maybe uh, OCT is uh, effective to understand uh, how, uh, what kind of a situation as a proximal part of the uh, previously uh, treated stent. So right. I recommend the OCT observation uh, from LED to uh, and uh, pull back from LCX. But we, we have seen that the balloon, uh, the 3.5 balloon was very nicely open. So I think it uh, 3.5 with uh, this kind of stent is uh, possible. Uh, it's, um, no, however, synergy mm -hmm. is likely to occur the stent distortion in such situation. Uh, so uh, previously treated uh, and then implanted at the uh, intima. Uh, however, um, I think some distortion occurred in the proximal side in the LED stand. Mm -hmm. So what is your plan, SG? All uh, right. Uh, if you look at, you know, seen as the previous stand, uh, platform design is very uh, uh, kind of, uh, there is a completely tube-like stand. As, however, you know, stand short itself is very short, and if we pass the, you know, a single stand short, is, it really is, we can dilate a lot. And so I think it's effective stand area, effective minimal lumen area concern is, yeah. I, I, is quite enough to do that. And so we want to do, uh, you know, cool out uh, from the uh, circumflex to the, the main, and then so we want to see what's happened, right? Yes. So, all right, as a next step, so we did, we uh, deployed, uh, there are some dissection too, and so we deployed uh, 20, 20, 23, one, 23, 23 yeah. uh, Giants Sierra, 3.5, 3, 5, yeah. and so we're gonna make uh, some, you know, bigger balloon dilatation for the remain, and so we have to consider kind of a discrepancy between yeah. the proximity and the main uh, vessel size itself, and so we deploy uh, the 3.5, yes. And Sierra and do some high pressure inflation. There's a 16 atmosphere. All right, uh, there's an immediate after the you know crossover stand from the circumflex to the main ostium too, right? Yeah. So I think it's quite acceptable. And uh, as a next uh, next step, uh, I want to just pull back the LED wire and recross the you know actual uh, lumen. And so that, uh, pull back the LED wire and we, you know, cross the <coughs> Truman. So did, did you then, try to go through a distal strut? Yes. Yeah, good. And then, okay, next, I'm going to try it. I just uh, choose the 2.5. Uh, a yeah. little bit worried about, you know, not to pass the balloon uh, through the stand strut. And so 2.5. Non compliant, high pressure inflation up to 20 atmosphere. No, no, no. All right. What's this thing? Touch point? All right. And then, what is next? This is no? final. Oh, there is final? Mm -hmm. All right. So I'm going to try what happens in the after 2 5 high pressure inflation. All right. I think it's a, uh, you know, there are some uh, kind of uh, circumflexal cell part is well expanded. Uh, uh, no, yeah, not much damage to the uh, vessel wall. So as a next step, I want to do uh, high pressure inflation is consecutive with circumflexal steam, LED steam, yes. and then our final casing balloon inflation. So, all right, so we're going to choose the Three five, yeah. don't complain, balloon. Uh, this balloon is a used one, so how we, we're gonna try circumflex three five, don't complain, balloon. And then, all right, there is some resistance, maybe some wire. Thinking something, I wanna try the uh, LED first. LED. LED. In LED, I choose uh, for all non-compliant balloon. All right, so quite easy to pass. And then <coughs> I'm going to try it again. Uh, would you give me new one, 3-5? All right. 
So what, what, what is the size of the balloon for the LED? Four, 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 four zero. millimeter. Okay. Really, four zero. And the, I want to change the uh, very slender new non-compliant balloons. Usually three five, uh, in an inflated balloon is really bulky, right? And so sometimes it's very difficult to reuse. So I want to change this brand new one. Very sharp one. So C5 for circumflex. That's quite easy to pass, all right? So I want to focus on the circumflex first. Here we are. Uh, this is non compliant? Okay. Non compliant. Inflate. Inflate. What is nominal? 12. 14. 14. 14. 16. 16. Soccer ball. Okay, one 20. 20. 20. 20. Yeah. 3.6. 3.5 NC. All right. 3.5, 20 atmosphere. Mm. All right. Deflate. Deflate. Actually, by I was finding the media to media of the circumflex or cell part is almost a 4 or something, and so I don't. Okay, inflate. SG, can you do a, a stand boost just to show the, the string that you have done uh, at the ostium of the circ? All right, you may we, we already see it, but I think with a stand boost we will see it better. More inflate, 24. 25. 25. All right, what do you think? I think it's, it's open. Good. Yeah. Yes. All right, deflate, and then I want to a little bit push in like this, and and try the left main to why not high pressure four or something. Yeah, Twelve. Twelve. No, no. All right. 12, 14, 14, 16, 16. 4.15, 20. 20. All right, getting more expanded even in the distal part. Uh, I like a deep plate. And then I want to do kissing for that. Proximal. OK, why not? 10, 10. Second so yeah. first and Tempo. all right. The in terms of indentation, concern is quite small. Yeah. So right? yeah. maybe the proximal stent strut uh, uh, break down. I believe so. Okay, deflate. And if possible, I don't want to avoid uh, you know proximal part uh, like this. I want to do this. This circumflex. Circumflex is a pull. All right, pull in, LED, LED, pull out here, and then, okay, inflate, put a 10, 10, 10, proximal part is I want to dial it for further, okay, deflate, okay, actually we, I'm going to do what you want, uh, consecutive high pressure, Ready. and uh, circumflex LED, and final kissing. OK, let Ready. Pressing balloon inflation, too. All right. OK, in terms of uh, the LED proximal ostium, they're a little bit bigger, getting bigger. Yeah. So circumflex ostium is, is quite, you know, uh, good optimization in terms of, even in the through the stand strut, and proximal main. I think it's quite enough yeah. by angiographic concern. So you want to try it? You want to try the obvious finally? Uh, so it doesn't. Maybe we don't need any. Okay. So what do you think? The obvious. Would you show us angiographic findings by spider? Okay. Yeah. Any any so it looks very nice. All right. Well, this is kind of a pro the main side is actually just single layer of stain, and so I'm very comfortable. Even in the technique-wise, is cool a lot. The metal ratio is not so much. So this is a so LED. LED force. Yeah. No. All right, here we are. Proximal part. We didn't touch. Previously, what size was then? It's a 3.5. 3.5. Yep. 
last year. Almost high pressure, maybe up to 3.7, up to 4, 4 something. Yes. The effective scenario is big enough and so yes. not too much even. It's POC. Mm. All right. But is this the main? Yes, main. Yeah. Whoa. But expanded. Yes, stem. big size. Okay. All right. Two balloon, four, and three, five is quite, I think it's quite enough mm. to, yeah. you know, make a big. Stand at the hostel part, also it's good, right? And then <clears throat> again, we're gonna do IBIS for the circumflex, as mainly we want a very interesting, yeah, interesting uh, findings part. for the, yep. Uh, one thing I've noticed throughout this course and I really do like is there's a lot of emphasis in many places for, for going with smaller guides and you get into all sorts of trouble with balloons <laughs> sticking right. and being diff difficult to manipulate using a nice big guide and it seems right. to me to make your life a lot easier. Uh, do you have any comments regarding a guide, a guide uh, selection size? All right. Last time, Dago Bak had already mentioned about the range. Eight French guiders for the live cases. <laughs> Nowadays, in the practice concern, we want to do the same French. It's okay. However, in some cases, unexpected event, yeah. we want to solve. You know, two stand, sometimes two balloon is okay. What well, is it, this one? Circumflex? Yes. Okay, Dr. Kong? Yes, circumflex. Uh, from circumflex is very expensive, anyway, yeah. right? More than 3.5. Mm -hmm. uh, very, very expanded. And you can see that on nearly fully expanded stand. 3.5 stand. Yeah. And this also is okay, so this is a circular, right? Yeah. Okay. Looks very yeah. nice. So. Yeah. And so don't worry about, you know, proximal yeah. stand strut, you know, uh, limited uh, stand expansion, etc., etc. et cetera. Mm -hmm. uh, how about this is this star? Let me in here. And this Austin of the red Okay. Excellent. I think it's yeah, uh, yeah. I think it's quite enough, right? Yeah, yeah, great, so wonderful. I uh, want to show last shot picture. Okay. All right. Good. Okay, great, and wonderful. Are you? Yes. All right. So you so you have done a very nice provisional approach with yep. a stand from the circ to the left man, and then. Uh, the Please. strut toward the LED was already stented. Okay, so it's very nice. Shot. All right. Okay, great. I was impressed that the left main the same small. circular and uh, despite All right. uh, no uh, pot, uh, yeah. which was uh, All right. it's so big, you, it, but it uh, yeah, just, yeah. just looks perfectly circular. All there right. is some uh, bottleneck effect if you look carefully uh, up to the, the ostium. All right. Are you all the stent is one? larger distally than proximally. Okay. Very nice all right. So yes. Thank you. Thank so you very much. We, all right. We're going to prepare tomorrow's uh, many CTO cases, yeah, uh, many uh, table structural yeah, hardens. Yeah. Please enjoy, you know, uh, up to tomorrow, uh, tomorrow's so what, session. Too. What will be the uh, DAPT duration after this case? One year, less, or more? It's you a, mean? Yeah, it's about the uh, duration ah. of the durant press therapy. It's a uh, usual, uh, many, many audiences uh, ask about uh, that. Depth one here, even in the left main, is quite enough. That is our standard. Okay. Uh, however, you know that it's very big, you know, stand, big yeah. vessels, and so we don't too much concern about, you know, acute and stand thrombo, late stand thrombo is concerned. So, okay. so one year or less? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, okay. We want to move to the Alan's lab, Alan Young's lab here. Okay. No? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, Alan, uh, we, we move to your room. You Hi, look how are you? <laughs> <laughs> Hi there, Alan. So, welcome to uh, uh, our lab here. And to, with me is Dr. Yun. We actually were partnered together last year yeah. in uh, TCTAP <laughs> as well. So we are yeah. old partners. Um, and um, I don't remember everybody's name is Dr. Lee Park Kim. <laughs> 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 uh, okay. So let's introduce the case. Okay. okay. Uh, this patient is 63-year-old male, was admitted for a full chest pain. Her coronary risk, sorry, his coronary risk factors were hypertension, diabetes, and hyperlipidemia, and current smoker. Current angiogram showed a significant static lesions on the distal left main and proximal LED. Next. Okay, next. So his clinical presentation was stable in China. 
so we can sh we can show you your so, current so, angiogram. Yeah. Can you see the angiogram, Spencer? And not yet. Not yet. Okay. Not yet. So this is the angiogram from today. Now we see it. Oh, okay. Okay. So you can see that there is uh, this uh, little funny angulation of the left main into the LED. Um, there is uh, probably some plug in this left main, not quite sure exactly how much. Mm -hmm. And also there is some diffuse narrowing in the LED here and there, blumpy bumpy. He <laughs> has every risk factor because of smoking, diabetes, hyperlipidemia, yeah. hypertension, yeah. Uh, still smoking. Next picture. So as part of you is that the, um, there's a sort of a big size disc discrepancy between the left main and the LED. The circuit is very big. Next one. Yeah, next. Uh, so a lot of overlap of the vessels, mm -hmm. a little difficult to tell, but there's the septal and then there is the LED and proximal to the L that septal probably is most of the disease obviously at the origin. Next one. So back to this, um, the right coronary I don't think we shot today. The right coronary is essentially, uh, do you have it? Yeah, we okay. so, uh, Just want to show you the right coronary as well, real quick. So Alan, uh, I saw that uh, syntax score is 30, but uh, how will you calculate the syntax score? Because um, it's... Uh, I, yeah, I think it will be lower than that, I thought. Yeah, definitely. Okay. Yeah, so uh, I think uh, mainly it's just this distal LA left main mm -hmm. and then our, uh, osteo sort of LED. Uh, the question is really how to approach this lesion. Yeah, so uh, maybe we can ask the panel, because this lesion is a zero, one, zero lesion. Yes, yes. Uh, so... How would you approach this lesion? Uh, one stent provisional strategy or two stents? Well, maybe we start on the, from the left. Yeah, I, I think uh, we'd like to see why there's a big discrepancy between the Austell LED and the circumflex. I think we'd like to know a bit more about lesion. I would at least do an IVERS and see whether the lesion extends into the distal left main or not, and then I'll decide what uh, to do with the strategy after that. Okay, other, other yeah. opinion? Yeah, I'm also agree. I would definitely try to fix this lesion with one stand, but th this is challenging because of uh, this discrepancy in the vessel size. But maybe after IVUS measurements, we will see better, and maybe uh, proximal LED part is quite big and so we can do it one standard. Great. So I, I think you know clearly the IVIS imaging will be very helpful because of all those questions, all the questions that the all the panelists have uh, have uh, sort of put through. Is um, so when first when I first saw this picture, I always sort of felt that is that the LED wiring could be a little tricky, especially if we use the Jenkins guide here because it go ups comes down and then turn. Uh, so it takes a little bit of uh, wiring, but we got it. You know. Um, we got a run through wire into the LED, and let's show the IVIS picture. I was. Let's show the uh, LED run first. Okay, you can see IVIS. Well, one of the problem with the LED is that it's underfilled because there is a tight stenosis at the osteum. So, yeah, the true lumen you will see after predilatation of the LED. True lumen, true vessel size. Okay, this part is distal main or proximal LED? This is the sort of septal area. Ah, septal yeah. Okay. Area. Yeah, this is now this near the septal. I was interested, you call this uh, zero, one, zero. Uh, yeah. You, you discount the left main part. Uh, but the distant left main looks uh, nice. Uh, yeah, I don't know. So What's this? this? Uh, we'll, see the, we'll see on oh. IVIS. You can see the IVIS, right? Yeah. yeah. So this is your osteum of yeah, the LED. Yeah. You are very tight. Nearly very, pending Very object. big. And then you see the size of the left main. So, is yeah. there a ruptured plug this for okay. distal yeah. main? Yeah. So it does not mean that we will not stand the left main. No, no yeah, we would have to stand it. Of course. So the, the distal edge of the left main clearly is disease. Just proximal to of the course. circumflex yes. is. Like is so therefore now you know it is really not a zero there. So it has to be treated there as well. So the question is, uh, what what technique should we use to do so? Let's go ahead and that. Yeah. So, in my opinion, it should be a, a stand from left main to LED, and then pot, and then kissing by inflation, and then stand in the cirque if needed. But uh, it's open now. 
I think so I'm looking, I'm looking do... at this case, there is a big size, size discrepancy in the main and proxy AD. Is, uh, I'd like to uh, hear some opinion about the panel. How do you select at this case? I know. Is it available in Korea or not? Uh, Self-expanding, like the stentus stent, not which you could, yeah, it's not yeah, available. Yeah, not available. Yeah. In Japan. So in which stents uh, can okay. be expanded the most? Yeah. Uh, uh, I think today that we, all stents are going up to 5 mm, but 3.5 stent, not 3 0. So, in this case, we should use a 3 5, deploy at low pressure, and then do a pot to increase because the left man is close to 5 mm, I think. Right. In Japan, the uh, direction of coronary artery to me is available. Uh, in such cases, uh, uh, very suitable uh, because uh, uh, focal region, uh, contralateral side of, of the LCX, uh, uh, plaque, plaque is located uh, uh, there. And uh, direction of coronary artery to me is effective to reduce the plaque and uh, stentless procedure, uh, DCA plus DCB. Uh, because uh, the, there is a limitation of the side branch expansion, especially uh, LCX Ostrom has a 4 millimeter diameter. So uh, even in the uh, current generation DES, it is difficult to complete removal of the jet strut uh, to the side branch. So uh, I just did a little pre dilatation of the LED so that uh, yeah. we can get ready to. Uh, my strategy here is to put one stand across from the left main into the LED. And I measure an area that we can land the stent in um, probably about 3.5. Uh, and as, as the panelist uh, talked about, is that the size discrepancy with a picket stand that can actually go from 3.5 or so to maybe 4.75 or 5 for the left main. Yeah. So I have here. Uh, picked a Resolute Onyx uh, 3.5, and the idea is to put it into the LED somewhere that looks a uh, reasonable size, deployed it at sort of a nominal pressure, maybe 12, yeah. and then we come back a little bit, expand a bit more, and then see what we have, and then touch up after that. Okay. What do you think? Yeah, I think it's a good approach. Uh, very important not to go to, to a too large size because you may push the carina toward the circ. Uh, so I will use very low pressure to uh, expand the stand. At the end, you, you will be able to do anything. Uh, but for the first deployment, I think it's better to go to low pressure, so 8, eight 10, no more. And then do a proximal optimization technique with the same balloon, but also with a larger balloon. If the reference of the left man is 5, you should use a 5 millimeter balloon. And, and is the decision, uh, would the decision be to leave this... Uh, diagonal or intermediate branch alone, even if it uh, occludes completely. That's right. That, that would I, be my there's problem. a lot of branches there, so I decided that we're probably going to sacrifice whatever comes through there. So I go to the um, LA, uh, AP cranio, check. Yes. The, so the first thing I check is I want to see where this uh, stent is uh, ending up at, because the vessel is actually a lot of lumpy, bumpy part, and I don't want to end up in a small area. This is where sometimes if you have the facility yeah. of co-registration, it's very helpful yeah. to be able to land your stuff exactly yeah. where you want to Absolutely. Uh, with IVAS. I think this, uh, exactly this is a very to important to message. To so you went to cranial view in order to yeah. check mm -hmm. if you are covering the ostium. Yeah. And uh, this well is the only the way to check. Part. In spider view, you don't see the ostium. Yeah. There is a lot of... Uh, Overlap. Overlap, exactly. So here we can see that the landing area of the stand looks reasonable. That's kind of where we want it to be. Let's go to the spider. Just see what the origin of the. And we can see that is. in this view, you see the, the left man is not perpendicular to the outer. So in this view, you, you saw that you are covering the lower part, but not the uh, higher part of the, of the left man. It looks okay on the proximal part. I think we are, obviously that's quite big, so I may not be able to reach all the way to the origin, which is okay because the origin is huge. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, it's a, it's a little bit conic, so uh, you have some space. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go back to the area portal. But that, it's very important to know what is the lane that you have because if you want to do a proximal optimization technique, uh, you should be sure that you will uh, okay, not do a geographical here. miss at the ostium of the, of the left man. I think you can see the angle of the um, LED now is better with the yeah. stent in there. So 
I think that was just sort of disease and twisting. I think we are good. What yeah, do you think? Yeah, I think it's good. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go ahead and go to like um, eight first. Deploy. Oh, stand. Oh, stand. Eight first. Eight. Eight. Okay. Eight. Ten. Ten. Eight. Ten. Twelve. Twelve. Right. Okay. Okay. Deflate. <laughs> So that's just kind of to uh, about 12, just to kind of get the stand deployed distally. I'm going to pull back a little bit and do a little bit more, just so that it gets a little bit bigger. Get the guide out a bit. Yeah, so at that time, very important to control with the left hand the guiding catheter, because when you pull back the balloon, the guiding catheter is attracted in the, yeah, yeah. the left man, and you have one wire outside and one wire inside. So you may uh, make a longitudinal compression of the stent. And Alan has done that, that very nicely. OK, let's do a little inflation here. Okay, 12, 10, 12, OK, 14, 15, 15. So we already see a difference in size uh, looking at the balloon. No? Yeah. It's a little bit larger in the left man than in the LED. So I'm going to get the guide in a little bit and then watch for the guide and not be sucked in too much. And then we'll take a picture, see what we have, and then go from there. So Alan, uh, at that time, will we, you use a third wire or use the same wire uh, from the LED? Uh, I might not do anything to the circumflex. It's so big that I know the crossover, basically, we don't need to even open up uh, the ostium of the circumflex at all. That's kind of uh, what we typically do. OK. So do you not plan to open the straight toward the circ? Yeah. Okay. It's so very big. Huh? It's very big, so it may not be important at all. This, the stamp balloon is a little bulky, so good. Okay, great. Should we take a look and see what it looks like? Make sure our wire is not too far. Yeah. Okay, picture. Okay, good. Looks good. It looks pretty good in terms of the angle and the distal part of the LED looks a little small, but yes. that might be where it. Uh, okay. Let's take a look at the spider for me. I'm sorry, the. Uh, uh, um, so you see AP clearly the discrepancy between the stand size in the left man and the left man size. Huge. <laughs> left man is huge. Yeah. OK, I just want to make sure this lily looks OK, the, because that part, if we are ending up in a disease area, could end up with a little uh, intramural hematoma, for example. Picture. Yeah. OK, good. It looks OK. We'll yeah, check it, it with okay. ultrasound. Yes. So I'm actually OK with the circumflex. Um, I'm going to pull that. Um, you can see a little sort of any, uh, interesting picture on the top. See yeah, that little? Definitely, yeah. Very Initially, good. there is some ruptured plaque. Yeah, it looks. Yeah, yeah I think it's, it's a, it's a ruptured we, plaque that they're digging into yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think we saw that uh, ruptured plaque uh, earlier. Yeah, so we're going to go in stand. with the ultrasound, take a look. But it may, it may be just because the stent is not opposed to the wall uh, in the yeah. left man. Uh, before taking the ultrasound, would it make sense to do a proximal optimization? You really run the risk of, yeah. of doing a vertical compression, or e even with passing an ultrasound probe, because the I stent is f almost free-floating in that, uh, have, uh, in that uh, left yeah. main, proximally. Uh, I think, uh, yeah, it's a step which is not necessary, because you will do a pot, or keys, or both, and uh, then you will reassess by IVUS. Yeah, I usually don't do this step, but just for you know, time, it's just to illustrate, see what it looks like you know, in terms of uh, the distal part and also... Yeah, so uh, it, it would be you know, very nice to show that the stent is not opposed exactly. to the left man. And it's a pretty uh, straight shot, so I, that's why I don't worry about the longitudinal compression too much. You see there's a, quite a bit of disease distally as well, so yeah. let's pull back from there. So we can actually stand this whole vessel if we want to. That's why it's a little tricky, because mm -hmm. he has a, a disease. Uh, in, but most places, the area measured yes. to be about 3.5, 3.8 yeah. or so. <coughs> so I chose to leave those alone, except to the area of where the. Yes, uh, distal landing zone is great, yeah. wonderful. Yeah. Yes, exact positioning. And uh, very well uh, yeah. expanded. Very well opposed, yeah. yeah. 
So the 3.5 is very good for the LED. Yeah, yeah. definitely. It's not so good for the left main, and that's really the yeah. issue that I, I have to decide, you know, in terms of picking the type of stand that can expand to, to uh, you know, a good size. And the Resolute can go to easily 4.75, and a 3.5 stand is the same as a 4.0 stand. Different balloon, of course. So I thought that would be a good choice to do so. So far, it looks okay, actually. Not too bad. Yeah. We can make it a little bit bigger, of course. And then we'll see incomplete opposition here. Yeah. Good. So now you have the It'll vibration. Yeah. It's not going to be that big to be able to cover all that stuff. Okay. It's free floating. Okay. So Can we stay the, with the IVUS on the big screen? Okay. Coming out. So I'm going to pull the, the um, circ stent in a second. A stir, yeah. uh, circ wire for a second. Yeah, so side, more than five. Huh? Mm. It's great. So what are we about, about 5 uh, balloon? Yeah. What do you think, panel? Yeah, yeah, we can use oh, a, a semi-compliant uh, mm -hmm. in order to be able to go yeah, to 5.2, yeah. 3, 4, uh, yeah. if necessary. Yeah. So you're going to end it right at the... Uh, before the Carina? Yeah. So maybe a shortish, maybe a 12, you have anything? 12. Or even 8 is okay too. Right. Yeah, com compliance. If you don't have uh, the side link. So take a 5 or uh, 8 or 12, semi compliant. Because it's pretty soft in that area, so I don't think we need non compliant. What do you think? So, so Alan, uh, your general practice in this kind of case is just to do a crossover with a well opposed stent everywhere, or yeah. do you open the thread toward the, the side branch, which is a very big side branch? Yeah, I, I typically just leave it as a crossover and not to distort the main um, vessel stent, and I think that's the most important part, is the circuit is so big that I think you're just basically covering an ostium that's really big and just have a couple of struts across, and I think that's probably no different and having um, uh, whether you open it up or not, and you end up distorting the opposite side of the left main stand. So that's kind of what I do. Well, this patient is 63 and uh, diabetic, so the chance to have treat, to, to treat later on the, the circ or marginal is not, so, is not low. Yeah, and you also even the LED lesions. Yeah, of course. So can you test a little bit for me? <clears throat> So I have put my guide so, outside. Yeah, so in this case, uh, the spider view is the best view to, to, to see the carina and to position the balloon. Yeah, this is about the right spot, so. Okay, we will test again. Okay. You see you are too much proximal. Yeah, I'm gonna go forward a little bit. Okay, test again. Yeah, yeah it looks perfect. Looks pretty good there. Yeah. Let's go ahead and inflate. Eight. 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 Twelve. Twelve. This is a five point five point zero. Okay. Five point zero. Yes. Down. Okay. That one's pretty big. I'll come back a little bit. There's a little bit of a yeah. stent there, so I want to inflate that. How, as well. how much pressure you used for the? First inflation? It was 12. Okay. Right? Yes. And how, what is the size at 12? It's nominal. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. Um, you can go to uh, 14. 12 or 14. Go up a little bit more. Yeah, good. So on the chart, it's 5.3, so probably okay. Down. Down. So we'll uh, open the strut toward the circ in the, in the panel. We'll suggest to do that, or we'll do, we'll do that. I think I would, uh, because it's such a large circumflex. Although again, it's such a large circumflex, I don't think you get any cell, any stent cell uh, cell to to accommodate that circumflex. Yeah. Even if you do a dilatation, you're going to still have struts going across that ostium. It's so big. 
It's true that there is no randomized study showing uh, that one technique is better than the other. Just uh, theoretically, it's better to open. Okay. Yeah. But if it looks good, uh, I would leave it alone. Let's yeah. take a picture here. So. I pretty much uh, take the Dr. Park's uh, approach is to really leave most of these things uh, just a nice normal stand in the main vessel and not to disturb it unless we have to. Ready? Picture. Yes. Oh, sorry. Wrong. Very nice. nice. I think it flared it pretty nicely. Yeah, what very, do you think? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah very nice. And the circumflex looks really good. So. Yes. I would sort of probably leave it alone and not to open up anything. Let's go to, you can see there's a little branch that flow is a little bit decreased, but you know, there's so many of them, I can't really uh, think about doing anything there. Can you go to uh, this Ario Cardo, take a picture? Ario Cardo, please. Uh, what about OCT in this case? I think it would be even more illustrative regarding opposition of struts. What do you think? Yeah. I, I generally uh, avoid a bit of the OCT in the left main area because there's just so much blood coming in. Hard to get a good picture. Yeah, and and that, that, at least in my hands, I, I never get a very clean shot of the, of the uh, uh, origin. <laughs> so I tend to rely on ultrasound more, especially in the left main. But you, you, you clearly see better the strut position yeah. with the OCT. Yeah. Yeah, so so we, we learned something very interesting yeah. is that when you do OCT, for the left man, you should use one cc more than the size of the left man. So the rate, usually people are using four cc uh, uh. per second or five cc per second. But in this case, if you want to have good images, you should go to six cc per second. And following this rule, you have always very good OCT images. In the left main OCT, uh, the guide extension capacity is effective to uh, get uh, clear images. Now, uh, 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 massive uh, dextran uh, injection. Yeah. Minor injection of 50 millimeter uh, millilitre is enough to get uh, the clear image. Yes. Okay, this is the uh, IVUS, uh, first uh, additional implantation. This the yeah. edge is nice. Okay. Nicely opposed and pretty good size, uh, sort of flush into the distal area. Yeah. It's disease, it's not completely normal, but yeah. that's, that's okay. Very well expanded, it's yeah. really a circular stand, so it's very nice. Yeah. And then the bifurcation is coming. Yeah, I think definitely a rupture plaque was yes, uh, what looks yes. like on okay. the thing. This is the circ. So the costume is excellent. Huge now in the. Yeah, uh, oh, yeah. that's good. Yeah. Much bigger. Ooh. Yeah, it's 4.5 something. Wonderful. Yeah. It would be not surprised if you have a little bit incomplete acquisition uh, in, in the proximal yeah. end because it's just so big. Yes. Yeah. But, uh, you no, know, it's we it's might very have nice. It. It's excellent. Yeah, we, we are wow. getting to the iota bit. Yep. Good. Yeah, it's good. good. Nice. Yep. Excellent. Look, great. Looks, wow. looks great. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah, I will leave it like that if it's everybody agrees. Yes. Of course. Result is excellent. I don't agree uh, with the belief uh, without kissing by inflation uh, because the side branches of the has a big uh, area. Uh, so our jazz threat uh, causes that in the future uh, resource exchange. The, uh, especially in first case, uh, Professor Park's case, the jade threat at the L6 ocean causes resources. Okay, uh, so great. Wonderful. I recommend the kissing button. Yeah, yeah, wonderful. Okay, let's go to um, take a, a spider. <laughs> I think if there's a circumflex disease, definitely, because yeah, the circumflex yeah. is so clean, I see no reason really to open it up and distort the stand. Mm -hmm. And I think that actually causes more trouble mm -hmm. down the road in terms of uh, causing the LED right. itself having a lesion. I, I think we should do a randomized study about, wow. about this question. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think it's the problem is that excellent. we need a long term outcome, yeah. no, not one year. I, I think it looks good. I yeah, think, you know, it's uh, it's the perfect. debate aside yeah. of uh, you yeah. know, very opening nice up the yeah. circuit. Really and you see, the, <laughs> Alan, the, uh, the yeah. indentation that we have seen disappeared yeah. just by optimal position yeah, with definitely. the hot right. technique. Yeah. Excellent. I think there's just soft area that yeah. has a real funny yeah. looking yeah. Right, right. Uh, crevice. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, thank you so much, thank guys. You. Thank, thank you, Alan. Alan, Alan, your decision making is very straightforward. Your final result is excellent and your performance is great. In addition, it's a flower design, thyroid protection, so beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> and and, te thank and you, tell, thank him, you. Tell, him to, tell him to stop smoking. <laughs> That's your job, Stan, sir. So, Alana, 
What, what, uh, how much time you will recommend uh, DAPT in this case? Um, I would say that's no different from usual. So, so you know, typically a year, but if you know it is issue, I stop it at six months. Six months, okay. Six. Yeah. No, I, I, Unless I he keeps smoking and then just yeah, keep yeah, it yeah. forever. If he keeps smoking, then he <laughs> should be on forever. <laughs> okay, thank you, Alain. Thank you so much. Thank you.